Okay. You're with the famed Freddie Roach. Now, Freddie, you'll be training Victor Postal on July 23rd for his fight against Terrence Crawford. They will be unifying the title. Talk to us about the fight and the event. I think it's a great fight. I really think this is like a 50-50 fight. Two good guys. They have the same records. Uh, I think uh, Crawford has a couple more knockouts than we do, but uh, I think uh, we'll fight guys at different different time periods. But, uh, you know, my guys 100% uh, ready. I mean, we get a good, very good game plan down. Uh, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of tape on Crawford. He's a, you know, he's a very good boxer. He's good speed. Uh, I think the speed is the biggest thing that we have to deal with. And, uh, Reach and um, we're going to use it to, to, to the best we can, and um, I think uh, I think it's going to be a huge upset because uh, I, I know that Crawford is a six-one favorite in the books, and um, we can all we can all make some money. <laughs> now, Postal, since he's been with you, has been generating a lot of power. Where does that power come from? Uh, he does have a lot of power in his right hand. He sets it up with the jab and. Uh, that's what that's to keep the fight, yeah, get the distance, the proper distance, and then let the proper the right the right the right hand go at the proper distance, and he has knockout power in that right hand. So um, I like him. A lot. I, I do like him a lot in this fight, and, and they, I, but I do. Uh, you know, Crawford is a good fighter, and I think it's a 12 round fight. I think it goes the distance, and um, I, but I think that we should dominate the fight with with our left hand and uh, the power right hand. What makes Postal so much better than Crawford? Uh, I won't say that he's so much better. I think he's maybe a little bit better uh, with, with the jab and using his height rate and reach advantage. And I think his lifestyle is much more cleaner. Um, you know, seeing Crawford like partying in New York and uh, so forth. You know, it's, it's <laughs> and then going home to see his baby be born and stuff like this. Um, as a fighter, I wouldn't do that, but <laughs> but I guess I'm, uh, but I've never been a father, so I don't know. <laughs> Talk to us about some of the uh, strengths and weaknesses you see in Terrence Crawford. Well, you know, he's, he's very mobile, he's, he moves very well, um, and he's, he's, he's a good, good train. Not a huge puncher, but he's, he's a decent puncher. But, um, um, he's an all-around good fighter. I think he's um, one of the more popular fighters in America today. today and uh, and I, I think that my guy can capture that, that and take that away from him and, be, and become maybe, maybe one of the next pay-per-view stars in, in boxing. My last question, how confident are you that you can take home a decision if it goes to the scorecards? Because Terrence Crawford is the HBO darling. They're uh, making him to be the next best thing. Do you feel that you can get a fair shake? Uh, you know, we picked the, the judges and the referees and so forth, and we told the, uh, the head commissioner, you know, all we're asking for is a fair shake. That's all we're asking for. Is I think we, we deserve that. And he agreed with me, and um, you know, I think we have the right judges and the, the right referee uh, to make sure the fight goes. Um, the, the, the best man will win. Thank you, Freddie. Always a pleasure, my man.